Now, my dear friends, once you have understood that what are the basic terms involved in thermodynamics, we now move on to the next part. And that is, we talk about types of system. Okay, what we talk about? Types of system. Types means it is related to classification. जबी भी हमें कोई भी चीज़ को classify करना है, तो there has to be a certain parameter. और उसके नज़र ये से classification करना आसान हो जाता है. तो यहाँ पर हमें ये देखना है कि कौन सा ऐसा प्रमाण है, मापदंड है, जिसके आधार पर हम system को classify करेंगे. Which is that parameter we are going to do that? And my dear friends, those are two of them. The first one is energy and the second one is matter. Every one of you are well aware of these two terms. Which are those two terms? Energy as well as matter. Okay, now with reference to this, we are now going to classify the system into three different categories. I'll explain you that with the help of an example so it becomes absolutely clear in your mind. Okay, and that is what my purpose is. Alright, so to begin with. So as I said, there are three different types. So we begin with the first one. I give an example and that is, okay, I take a beaker and I take water in that and I start heating it. What's going to happen? Right? A beaker containing water. Uh, I specified it is 50 ml of water. I start heating it. Ye jalte pe burner pe rakha hua hai maine ye. Okay, agar kisi ko aisa lage ye jhad ke upar rakha, aisa nahi hai. Ye bar jalta hua burner hai. Of course, there is a wire gauze and a tripod stand and etc. etc. Anyways, now I'm specifying this. Kya specify karna hoga? Yes. System ko specify karna zaruri hai. So, the system over here is what? The beaker. Okay, the glowing burner and 50 ml of water. Now tell me my dear friends, once this water starts boiling, alright, what is going to happen? That liquid is getting converted into vapor. The beaker is open, okay, and therefore the vapors go out of the beaker. Out of the beaker means what? Where it is going? Yes, surrounding. And as a result of which, the amount of water inside the beaker will reduce. It will become say 40 ml, 30 ml, things like that. So that means that vapor is gone into the surrounding. And that vapor is also a matter. So there is an exchange taking place of matter. Now next thing is, ye jalta wa burner hai. Mera aapko pehle hi bata diya hai. Is jalta wa burner ke aju baju mein haat rakhi hai. Aju baju mein bol raha hun dosto. Us mein nahi. Hoot aap rakho ke bhi nahi. At least khud ka to haat rakho ke hi nahi. Hoot mujhe maalum hai. To agar aap, ये चलते हुए बर्नर के आजू बाजू में हाथ रखोगे तो आपको उसकी गर्मी महसूस होगी दोस्तों गर्मी इज नथिंग बट इट्स हीट एंड हीट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी सो आपने आजू बाजू में हाथ रखा है दैट मींस आपने हाथ कहां रखा है सराउंडिंग में रखा है सो एनर्जी इज गोइंग फ्रॉम सिस्टम टू सराउंडिंग द मैटर इज गोइंग फ्रॉम सिस्टम टू सराउंडिंग सो दैट मींस देयर इज एक्सचेंज ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट इट कम्स आउट ओके द सेम टाइप क्लासिफिकेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू व्हाट एक्सचेंज ये सब मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूं ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सचेंज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एनर्जी एंड मैटर तो यहां पर इस एग्जाम्पल में क्या एक्सचेंज हो रहा है एनर्जी एक्सचेंज हो रहा है जी हां मैटर एक्सचेंज हो रहा है जी हां एंड दैट सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड एज ओपन सिस्टम वॉट इज इट कॉल्ड एज ओपन सिस्टम सो द फर्स्ट वन इज ओपन सिस्टम ओके मैं यहां पर साइड में लिखता हूं दैट इज एक्सचेंज so that's a common word. So we say the answer is energy and matter. Okay? I guess it's clear to every one of you. Okay? Now next part is. I'll take the same example. But now only slight change. And that is, I introduce a lid on the top of it. Dakkan rakh deta. Ab dakkan also is a part of the system. Dosto yaad rakhega. So what is going to happen now is, the water starts boiling. All right, the vapors ready for the vapors are lighter because they are gaseous, eh? they will rise upwards and they will come in contact with the lid. Now, my dear friends, you know very well from this particular diagram, see this diagram the heating is being done directly off the beaker. 
And as a result of this, the lid is indirectly getting heated. So there is a temperature variation. The beaker temperature is more and the lid temperature is less. And therefore what we say is, the vapor is going from a higher temperature to a lower temperature. And whenever you know this very well, in school you learn that when vapor travels from a higher temperature to a lower temperature, it condenses. Alright? Condenses means what? It gets converted to a liquid. And that's why, friends, if you take the water and see it, then the water will be filled with the water and you will get to see it. Am I clear with this part? So in this case, what is happening is, because the lid is there, so the water is not going to get out of the water, the water is not going to get out of the water. The water is not going to get out of the water, but the water is not going to get out of the water. The water is not going to get out of the water, but the water is not going to get out of the water. And the water is also part of the system. So tell me now, is there any change as far as the amount of water is concerned? No, it's 50 ml, it still remains 50 ml in the system. And therefore I will say, is there an exchange of matter? No. Now coming to this, same example. Jalta hoa barra hai dosto, uske aju baju mein haath rakha to garbi mehsus hogi. Yes, manlab energy ka exchange ho raha hai. Lekin matter ka exchange nahi ho raha hai. And such system is called as what? Closed system. Okay, so the second one is closed system okay what I call it as closed अब इसमें exchange की कैटेगरी में क्या लिखना है and that is only energy not matter understood this very well okay मैं underline कर देता हूँ तो आपको याद रहेगा अच्छी तरीके से okay this is only energy okay and not matter clear up to this very good. Now next thing is, I'll give you another example and then I'll explain the concept. And that is, say for example, you take two cup of hot tea. Garam chai, two cup, aap lijiye, aur thermos flask me lijiye. You must be knowing about what is thermos flask. It is insulated. Insulated means what? Okay, heat, andar se bahar nahi jayega, aur bahar se andar nahi aayega. Okay, so the energy which is there inside will remain what? Same. Okay, it's not necessary to open the door, then the whole heat will go out. So it is very important that you need to close the lid of that thermos flask. Now next point is, two cups of tea, two cups of tea, two cups of tea, two cups of tea, one cup of tea, it will remain as two cups only. And that's why there is no exchange of matter as well. So in this case, there is neither exchange of energy nor exchange of matter. Both remains intact. Chai mein jitni garmi hai, utna hi rahega. Do kap chai hai, to wo do kap hi rahne wala hai. Okay? So there is no exchange at all. And such system is called as isolated system. What do we call it as? Isolated system. Or exchange mein hum kya dikhen ge abhi? Neither energy nor matter. Okay, this is what it is. So the example over here, you understood? It's boiling of water in an open beaker. Yahapar, boiling of water in a closed beaker. You can take an example of a cup and saucer as well. Okay, saucer niche rakho, cup upa rakho, or cup me chai rakho. It becomes an open system. Lekin agar a voi saucer ko cup ke upa rakh do, it becomes a closed system. Understood this? Next thing is isolated me hot tea in a thermos flask. Now you need to be very specific. Hot tea nikhe chhodna nahi hai. बहुत लोग स्टूडेंट्स क्या करते हैं आंसर ऐसा लिखते हैं यानी वो आप ऐसा बताना चाहते हैं एग्जामिनर को अपने आंसर के द्वारा कि मार्क्स देना है तो दे नहीं तो जा इस तरीके से लिखते हैं आंसर्स अरे पूरा आंसर लिखो ओके व्हाट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड यू जस्ट कैन ब्रेड ऑन हॉट टी अगर मैंने कप में ओपन कप में हॉट टी रखा चलेगा कैन आई कॉल इट एज एन आइसोलेट सिस्टम नो सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक दैट हॉट टी कहां पर इन अ थर्मस फ्लास्क Understood this? So with examples, I have explained you this particular concept. So just a recap 
and that is when you talk about types of system so the first point is it is based on exchange of our energy as well as matter next thing is depending upon which is exchange there are going to be three types of system okay one is going to be uh, open next is closed and next is isolated open and isolated is very easy my dear friends in case of open system it's very clear that energy as well as matter both are exchanged and isolated may energy matter neither of them are exchanged neither energy nor matter garbad kidhar hota hai dosto closed mein ek exchange ho raha hai dusra exchange nahi ho raha hai so i give you a very simple solution for this to remember it and that is do you recollect the beginning of the chapter where i explained you the meaning of the words chemical thermodynamics yes yaad aaya very good usme maine thermodynamics ka meaning bataya tha thermo matlab kya yes heat and heat is a form of energy dynamic matlab kya flow so whenever a particular concept or substance is flowing so obviously it's exchanging inke exchange ke liye ye ek jagah se dusri jagah jana zaruri hai so that is flow so flow of energy is thermodynamics to aisa yaad rakho to energy ka flow hoga aur yani exchange kiska hoga energy ka और ये तो अभी समझ में आ ही जाएगा आपको कि अगर एनर्जी का एक्सचेंज हो रहा है तो मैटर का एक्सचेंज नहीं होगा माय डियर फ्रेंड दिस इज अवे यू नीड टू लर्न केमिस्ट्री बिकॉज व्हाट हैपेंस इज मेनी टाइम्स ओके द इंप्रेशन इज दैट टाइप ऑफ ऑन द स्टूडेंट्स इज केमिस्ट्री ओ माय गॉड ओके इट्स सो बिग इट्स सो वास सो मच रिएक्शन सो मच कांसेप्ट्स टू बी रिमेंबर बट देन तरीके से पढ़ाई करोगे तो आपको वो अच्छा लगेगा तरीका होता है दोस्तों उस केमिस्ट्री को पढ़ने का सब सारे कंसेप्ट्स नहीं पढ़ना है रिलेट केमिस्ट्री ऑफ वन कंसेप्ट टू अनदर फिर देखो आपको समझने लगेगा एक बार आपको समझ में आ गया आपको अच्छा लगेगा okay so this is what all about the types of system i guess you have understood this very clearly okay have a look at this